We all know food brings happiness to people. And without a doubt, the food that has brought the most happiness is rotten food, aka high meat, fermented foods, and this could be the yogurt you had for breakfast, the sourdough bread with ham and cheese you had for lunch, the dry aged steak for dinner. All of these foods are fermented. And although humans, even on our modern standard American diets, consume vast amounts of fermented foods, sauerkraut, kimchi, wine, alcohol, we are out of touch with the indigenous version of these foods, what our hunter-gatherer ancestors used to consume. And the reason I say fermented foods have brought us the most happiness was because these foods were present in every single hunter-gatherer diet that has ever existed. They intentionally made foods like rotten fat by burying them in the ground, letting them sit out in the sun. And this can range from the First Nation Alaskans burying some salmon under twigs for a year. It could be some African tribe letting fish sit out in the sun for two weeks. And the point is, these fermented foods played a key role in our health as well as development. So why do we eat rotten foods? It's two simple reasons. Beneficial bacteria and vitamin K2. There is bacteria in rotten meat that helps us utilize nutrients from raw meat as well as cooked meat. In addition to that, vitamin K2 increases as a food ferments. Uh, when the microbial content, when the bacterial content of a food goes up, so does the vitamin K2 content. This seems to only apply to animal foods and it also depends on the quality of the animal food. One thing that's really interesting is that all of these fermented meats, these high meats, all of these rotten food preparations done by these indigenous people depend on harvesting the food at its peak season. So when the animal is on the most nourishing spring grasses, you know, for example, in, in Weston Price's book, uh, who was a dentist that studied these people in the early 1900s, the Swiss in the Lachental Valley would make cheese from the summer dairy. And this point in the year in the fall where they were making the cheese to survive the winter was when it had the highest amount of nutrients. So not only are they consuming these fermented foods for the nutrient content, for the bacterial content, they're using these fermented foods as a method for preserving the meat at its peak quality. And that is what I have done today. So here I have some fermented beef fat. Uh, that has been sitting in a vacuum seal for about six months. Uh, this was at room temperature for probably a couple of weeks and then I threw it back in the fridge. This is to try to replicate the environment that our indigenous ancestors used to ferment meat in. And some people have a concern about botulism. A uh, Botulism is a type of microbe that occurs in soil and I'm led to believe that the primary reason botulism grows in certain preserved foods is not necessarily the anaerobic environment. It's not necessarily a lack of air. I think what's actually causing botulism growth is, you know, the pasteurization of these canned foods allows certain environmental bacteria that are opportunistic to grow out of control and create, you know, foods that can cause issues for people. Uh, so we're going to cut this open and experience the happiness that our indigenous ancestors experienced. Uh, and by all means, uh, if you guys want to check out my past videos on this, uh, you can see how I did it. I'm not suggesting you do this. I'm allergic to eggs and dairy. Uh, since I can't consume raw cheese, since I can't consume egg yolks, I don't really have a way of getting vitamin K2 in my diet you know, without supplementing. Uh, I do have a supplement for my family. Uh, vitamin K2 in the form of MK4 is what you want if you don't want to eat rotten meat. Uh, so that's what I recommend to people. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if I could consume Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese and scrambled eggs every morning, by all means, I wouldn't be rotting some meat in a bag, but I, I can't consume those foods. Dairy and eggs both give me insomnia and really bad uh, digestive issues. Uh, so let's cut this open and uh, get grossed the hell out. Keep in mind, if you guys decide to do this, when you open this package, you're going to introduce air to it and some of the microbes are going to start dying. So by leaving this in the fridge for a few days, 
it's going to lose some of the beneficial bacterial content. So ideally, you would pack this in even smaller bunches, something that would be consumed on a daily basis. I'm used to this now. <laughs> At this point, it's like it doesn't phase me. It smells like really funky cheese, rotten, almost like sweet, nutty, Only, oh, there's no real way to describe this. You have to, you have to smell it yourself. So here's a piece of the beef fat. This is a nice yellow orange piece. The yellow color of the beef fat signifies its nutrient content. There's carotene in grass, uh, which translate to carotene in the flesh of the animal. Keep in mind, not every animal stores carotene like certain breeds of cattle. Uh, some cattle only have white fat. Uh, goat and sheep only have white fat. So don't always look at the color of the fat as an indicator of the quality. But what I've noticed is that in these animals that do have varying fat colors, the deeper yellow the fat is, the deeper orange the fat is, the better it tastes after it ferments. Uh, so we're gonna cut this up. I don't know, every time I go to eat this stuff I just can't get over the initial bite. <sighs> when I eat this stuff, it really makes me wonder, you know, from like a chemical standpoint, from a scientific standpoint, What's actually happening here? Because the level of flavor in this and the development of flavor is absolutely, it's unbelievable. You know, you're literally, you know, hunting an animal, you take the fat from that animal, you bury it in a hole, and it, it dramatically transforms the food. Uh, on this piece of fat, there's actually some of the adrenal gland, uh, which is known for being very high in vitamin C. And if you actually smell this adrenal gland, has a very unique smell to it uh, that's actually reminiscent of other foods that are very high in vitamin C. So I'm just gonna have a little bit more of one more piece uh, just so we can kind of demonstrate the variance in taste and flavor as well as color. Now this piece of beef fat is uh, not nearly as yellow, it's kind of like a beigey yellow color. Smell is, smell is fairly similar. Taste is not as strong, for sure. Uh, this one is a bit more mild in flavor. I'm led to believe that the initial nutrient content of the food is what's most important for the flavors that develop during fermentation. So if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna try to source you know, really high quality cheese, you get what you pay for. Uh, on Frankie's Free Range Meat, you know we have raw Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, we have Let's Vaz Gruyere, we have an English cheddar, and we have a Gouda cheese. And the reason we source really high quality raw cheeses from certain parts of the world is because these animals are being fed grass and they are at an ideally high nutrient state. So keep in mind, not all fermented food is created equal and not all fermented food will contain the same amount of nutrients. There is a big variance, even if it's all completely, you know, raw fat, raw milk, raw cheese, doesn't matter. Not only is this high meat, this fermented meat, very high in beneficial microbes and vitamin K2, it also has all of the fat soluble vitamins that were originally contained in the food. You know, from the vitamin A, uh, the vitamin D3, the initial K2 content, any beneficial fatty acids, all of these are still in the fat when we're consuming it. So it really is just an overall nutrient bomb uh, with an exceptionally high amount of vitamin K2 and gut bacterial benefits. I did a video a couple weeks ago where I actually showed you guys some fermented tallow in a day of eating video. I don't actually have it over here. I think it's uh, downstairs in the garage, but I took this fermented beef fat and I rendered it in a pot. And what I have now is 
a pasteurized and a heated source of vitamin K2. So although it doesn't have the bacterial benefits of this product, uh, it still has the high vitamin K2 content and all of the nutrients that are contained in the fat. So if you guys are a little bit skeptical and worried about any sort of bacteria or anything on this food, you can render the fermented fat and then use it as tallow. I will warn you, it will stink up your kitchen and it does not smell good while you're making it. But that tallow is very enjoyable. You know, I was having it with some ground beef. It's really delicious, I really like it. Uh, so that's something you guys can try out. I know this seems a little crazy by modern standards, but it's really not far off of eating cheese or deli meat, yogurt, any of the cured products, the fermented products that we have today. You know, it's just a different approach and you're doing it yourself. And there are some things that are just present in these indigenous diets that we can't ignore. You know, like the presence of fermented foods. So in order to be optimally healthy, I'm led to believe fermented food consumption on a daily basis is necessary. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can, and check out some of the other videos that I'm going to link at the end here. If you want to support me further, go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com. We are offering high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price online. Uh, you can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, fluoride free, remineralizing tooth powder, aluminum free deodorant, Frankie's Hair Cement, aka Natural Pomade. Check it out guys, frankiesnaturals.com. You can also reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations via email, frankatofano at gmail.com. Thanks again for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day.